You are listening to a daily devotional audio recording by Rev. Tandurayim Pamanga of Harvest House International, Bramfontein, South Africa. Be blessed as you listen. John chapter 16 verse 13 says, How be it the spirit of truth when he is come, he will guide you in all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he is, he shall speak. And so we need to realize that the, the spirit of God is him that empowers us to walk in the truth. There are certain truths in your life that you need to be guided by the Spirit of God. For you to walk in the light, for you to walk in the truth, then you need the Spirit of God to come upon your life, and that is very important. Many people ask the question whether there is anything wrong with their conduct or not, whether there is anything wrong with what they are saying or not, what they are doing or not. But the truth of the matter is that you need to be empowered by the Holy Spirit and by the Spirit of truth for you to walk fully in the way of truth. And you need to carry the Spirit of truth wherever you go and wherever you are. And one of the things that the Spirit of truth does is that it safeguards us from the spirit of error. Whenever you begin to walk by the Spirit of truth, then you are not never going to walk in error. And that is very, very important. And in conclusion, I want to speak about how you can stay in the truth, how you can stay in the truth. Because it is important to understand the fact that you need to keep the truth all the days of your life. If you are going to live a life of honesty, if you are going to live a life of truth, if you are going to live a life that is devoid of any deception or guile, then there are certain things that you need to observe about the truth that are very, very important. Now, the first one is that you must find the truth. You need to hunt and search for the truth all the days of your life. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 10, the Bible says the preacher sought to find acceptable words and that which was written, which was upright, even the words of truth. All the days of your life, you must be on a hunt, you must be on a search to find the truth. Whenever you find the truth, then you are going to walk in the truth. And where do you find the truth? You find the truth in the Word of God. The Word of God is the truth. The Word of God is the standard of honesty. The Word of God is the standard whereby when you live according to the standard of the Word of God, then you are never going to get into error. And the desire of God and the will of God for your life is that when you find the truth, then the truth is going to guide you, then the truth is going to guard you all the days of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, when you have found the truth, then it is going to make all the difference. It is one thing to be in a place where you are just walking anyhow, but it's another thing when you have found the truth. When you have found the truth, the truth is like treasure. You begin to walk in light, you begin to walk in revelation, you begin to live your life according to the standard of the Word of God, and everything that you do must always be measured by the standard of the Word of God. But secondly, the Bible talks about buying the truth. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 23, the Bible says, Buy the truth and sell it not, and also wisdom, instruction, and understanding. Buying the truth implies that you need to do everything in your power to remain in the truth, whatever the cost is. Now, you've, you'll find that the reality is that when you're walking in truth, when you're walking in honesty, sometimes it may, it, it, may, it may cost you in terms of your life. It may cost some convenience. You may lose some friends here and there. You may lose some money here and there. Sometimes you can even be fired from a job because you're walking in the truth. But the Bible says, buy the truth and never sell it. Sell it not. In other words, whatever the cost is of walking in the truth and remaining in the truth, remain in the truth all the days of your life. And I want to say that God is faithful. If you are faithful in whatever you do, if you are faithful in your work, if you are faithful in maintaining the truth all the days of your life, then God has a way of lifting you up and God has got a way of elevating you because you are continually walking in the truth. And the desire and the will of God is that you must never let go of the truth, no matter what kind of pressure you go through, no matter what happens, because the desire of God is to lift you up and to take you higher for as long as you walk in the truth. Now, thirdly also, you need to embrace the truth. It is one thing to find the truth, it's another thing just to embrace the truth. All the days of your life, you must embrace the truth. The psalmist says in Psalm 25 verse 5, Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art my God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all day long. Now the psalmist says, lead me in thy truth. You must embrace the truth in such a way that you desire God to lead you in the truth. Whenever you embrace the truth and whenever you make the truth part and parcel of your life and part and parcel of your heart, then what is going to happen is that God is going to lift you up. 
we live in a society of falsehoods. We live in a society of cunning people. We live in a society of people that are shrewd every day. And the only true example that we can demonstrate, that we can show, is by walking in the truth and walking in the light. Whenever we begin to walk in the truth and walk in honesty and integrity, then it is going to change many people around us. People are not going to be changed by how much we jump, by how much we shout, by how much uh, money we have got. But people are going to be transformed when they see a kind of life which is unique, which is different, which is a life of honesty, which is a life of truth, a life of following the standard of the word of God. That is the only way we can maintain our freedom. And remember the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Whenever you begin to walk in the truth, it's amazing the kind of joy, it's amazing the kind of liberty, it's amazing the kind of peace that begins to come upon your life because you have decided to walk in the truth. Now the Lord continue to bless you, the Lord continue to increase you as you continue to walk in the truth of the word of God. The light of God shall come upon you, God shall increase you, God shall change you and God shall promote you. God always elevates and God always lifts those that continue to walk in the truth. And the desire of God for you is that God may take you from glory to glory into a higher level, but begin to walk in the truth. If there's any deceit in your life, if there's any dishonesty in your life, if there are any things in your life that are gray, that are hazy, that are not of God, you need to begin to deal with them in prayer and confess before God that God may cleanse your heart by the blood of Jesus, that every iniquity in you, that every dishonesty in you, that every shrewdness in you may be taken away by God. And may God bless you as you continue to maintain a life of truthfulness, a life of honesty, and a fulfilling life in God. May God richly bless you. Thank you for taking time to listen to this audio devotional. For more information, please visit our website, which is www.hhi.org.za. See you again next time.